top out bushings that are specific to the machine. Tools that you need for tightening things, in this case a formula Allen key and a spanner. 50 pence piece. Small square. And a setup block with the mortises marked on that we're going to be cutting. Right, let's back over at the machine. First thing we need to do is put this top out bushing. This holds the auger bit into the spindle. Top up the chisel. Slide that in there. So now the fifty p slide that in the top of the bush. Push everything up nice and tight. Take the 50p out, slide the chisel up, and now we've got the perfect clearance between the uh, auger and the chisel. So, next thing we need to square the chisel up to the table. Now a lot of people will set, it, set the chisel up like this, with the groove facing forward, so all the chips come out at the front. The only problem with that is when we're mortising, especially on deep mortises, as we're getting deeper and deeper, the chips have got a smaller and smaller hole to get out of, making the machine work harder, making the chisel run hotter, possibly causing some damage. You're actually far better off having that turned so the flue is open to the hole that you've just cut. That way any chips come straight out and into the hole that's already been cut at the side of it. So now I'm just using a square. to the back bends. Nip everything up nice and tight. Another check, make sure we tighten the over up. We did. And we're ready to go. So Take our wood that we're mortising that's already been marked out nice and clearly. Just adjust this handle so we're not moving things quite so far. Yeah. So the first thing we want to set is the depth. In this case it's a through mortise, but we don't want to plunge all the way through. That's going to uh, cause damage. So if we set our depth to somewhere around about three quarters of the way through, I think we'll do it. Just there. Then once clamp the wood in, we've just got face side, face edge mark. Always want to be working with the face side of the face edge against that back fence. One little addition that I've uh, put on this machine is this air blower. It's great for when you've got loads of motors to cut, keeps everything nice and clear. If you wanted to, you could set up a, a dust extraction sort of collection point on this side as well, but personally I don't particularly bother. It's not that much uh, dust coming off of a motor. So, plug the machine in and see how we've done. to his end line there. Machine on. Switch 
to the end of this mortise, if you notice that I moved over and cut this end first, that's because you don't want to make your last cut as a half chisel cut. Because what tends to happen is if you're cutting half a chisel's width, either the wood or the table will try moving over that way or the chisel will bend into the cut and you're not going to get a true square cut. There we go. thing I will mention is regards safety, obviously you're going to be wearing your, your full PPE, you've got your eye protection, your ear protection, your, your dust mask and everything else on. Don't wear gloves. At the end of the day, if you catch your hand on the, uh, the bit that's rotating, you might cut your hand. If you've got gloves on and the glove gets caught up in that, you're going to be in a lot more trouble.